مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية Welcome dear students, this is your English teacher with a new lesson for grade 7. Today we have a reading on page 64, students book page 64. As objectives we have two. So the first one is use the new words to understand a reading text. Number two, answer three activities on a reading text. Ford Model T. The first consumer automobile, introduced in 1908, produced 20 horsepower and had a top speed of 45 miles per hour. Ford GT. The 2017 Descendant has evolved into a supercar with 600 horsepower and speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour. Television. The 1948 Admiral Model 19A12 TV set had a 7-inch black and white screen with a resolution of 653 by 499 pixels. UHD TV. Today's 4K ultra-high def TVs have minimum resolutions of 3840 by 2160 pixels. Video cam. The Super 8mm film cameras produced by Kodak in 1965 had film cartridges that recorded up to 2.5 minutes at 24 frames per second. High-def video recorder can record 1080p video for up to 4 hours and 21 minutes at 30 frames per second. Laptop. The first true portable computer was called Osborne 1, built by Adam Osborne in 1981. It weighed 24 pounds, had a 5-inch screen, and cost $1,795. Compact Ultra Portables. Laptops circa 2016 are sleek, lightweight, have 13 to 15 inch touchscreens, blazingly fast processors, and cost $1,000 or less. Mobile phone. In April 1973, Motorola researcher Martin Cooper made the first mobile telephone call using a device that weighed 1.1 kilos and measured 23 centimeters long. It had a talk time of 30 minutes and took 10 hours to recharge. Smartphone. There are nearly 150 mobile phone manufacturers in the world today who produce the latest iteration of this device, which is small, light, thin, and is virtually a carry-anywhere computer. ENIAC. Built in 1946 by Pennsylvania University scientists, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, ENIAC, was a 30-ton behemoth with over 17,000 vacuum tubes, 70,000 resistors, and 10,000 capacitors, filling up a 30 by 50 foot room. Portable calculator. Modern day electronic pocket calculators became available in the 1970s after the first microprocessor was developed by Intel for Japanese calculator company Bizicom. Now, pocket calculators by Texas Instruments put enormous computing power in a smartphone sized package. On your page 64, we start with activity A. Name a few technological inventions you know of. You should have some technological items already on your desk or in your hand, such as your mobile phone. What is your opinion on technology? Look at the ideas and tick the ones you agree with. You have six ideas. Tick, choose the ones that you agree with. With does it make uh, does it make life easier? Does it save time? Technology. Does technology changes very fast and people can't keep up? Or you may say it's usual expense, usually expensive. Or you may say technology is changing the world for the better. It, may, it makes people lazy. Choose the ideas that you agree with and discuss with your parent or your friend. Next, to the text. Activity B. Look at the pictures in the text 
and the titles. Before you read, what do you know about these topics? Then, read the text quickly. Which phrase or sentence best summarizes the main idea of the text? Choose from the list A, B, C or D. The advantages of flying cars is the main idea of the text or B. Technology has got many disadvantages or C. 3D printing will change the way people shop or D. Technology will change our daily life in the future. Read the text and choose. Well, the text is speaking about how technology will change our daily life in the future. Let's move on now to the text. Pause the video, open your book and read these two passages. After reading, let's do the first activity, which is activity C, page 65. Read again the text and write T for true or F for false. Number one, the writer thinks that it will soon be easy for most people to have a 3D printer. True or false? Number two, the writer believes that people will shop going shopping. Number three, the writer says that flying cars will make off, will take off like helicopters. Number four, the writer thinks that flying cars will be very expensive. Number five, the writer believes that flying cars will make traffic worse. Read the text, do the activity, pause the video. Now, here is the solution. Check your answers. Good job. Let's move on. Here is an idea to think about. Technology will change our daily life in the future. Discuss this idea with your parent or brother or a friend. Try to have more ideas and express what you think about it. Well done. The first lesson is completed right now. Let's move on. Now we move to grammar, page 65, grammar. And in this lesson, we will revise some about uh, the future. So read the examples. How do we form the affirmative, the negative, and the question form of the future will? I can give you some help. Read the following. The affirmative with all pronouns, I, with, I use will with the verb. In the negative, with all the pronouns, I use won't for will not with the verb. In questions, I start with will, then the pronoun, then the verb, then question mark. Short answers like yes or no, I say yes, pronoun, will, full stop or no pronoun will not won't full stop now read the questions read the examples sorry train yourself reading these examples you can pause the video and we move on now we go to b to see 
How do we use the future with will? Read the examples again. When is the future will used? Match the the sentences one to five with the value with the rules A to E. I can give you help. Read the following. We use we use the future will for prediction. توقعات. Example, I think he will be a famous bas basketball player one day. Or, on the spot decisions, fine, I'll meet you in an hour. In offers, I will help you with everything. With promises, I promise I will be there for you. Requests, will you do me a favor? Now from activity A and B, let's match the decision, the sentences. These sentences with these users. Do the activity, pause the video. So, for premises, it was sentence three. For offers, it was sentence four. For prediction, usually with the verb think and believe, it was sentence number one. For on the spot decision, it was sentence number two. For requests, it was sentence five. Well done. Now we have this activity to do together. We use these forms of the verb with the future will in the correct sentence. Do the activity and let's correct together. Pause the video. So now let's do it together. I'm hungry. Not use, make, help, drive, not much, be. A sandwich with will. What do you choose? Yes, I will make a sandwich. Number two, A, I'm late. B, don't worry, I will drive you to the airport. Number three, I promise I will not use your computer when you're not home. Number four, Ali will not watch the horror film with us. He hates scary films. Number five, A. Sahara takes uh, amazing photos. Number five, Sahar takes amazing photos. B. I know, I'm sure she will be a famous photographer one day. And number six, these bags are heavy. It's a question mark. Yes. Will you help me carry them? Well done, dear students. Great. Thank you for the participation. Do your activity and see you on the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now we move to grammar, page 65 grammar and in this lesson we will revise some about uh, the future so read the examples how do we form the affirmative the negative and the question form of the future will 
I can give you some help. Read the following. The affirmative. With all pronouns, I, was, I use will with the verb. In the negative, with all the pronouns, I use won't for will not with the verb. In questions, I start with will, then the pronoun, then the verb, then question mark. Short answers like yes or no, I say yes, pronoun, will, full stop, or no, pronoun, will not, won't, full stop. Now read the questions, read the examples, sorry. Train yourself reading these examples. You can pause the video and we move on. Now we go to B to see how do we use the future with will. Read the examples again. When is the future will used? Match the, the sentences one to five with the value, with the rules A to E. I can give you help. Read the following. We use, we use the future will for prediction, توقعات. Example, I think he will be a famous bas basketball player one day. Or, on the spot decisions, fine, I'll meet you in an hour. In offers, I will help you with everything. With promises, I promise I will be there for you. Requests, will you do me a favor? These sentences with these uses. Do the activity, pause the video. So, for premises, it was sentence three. For offers, it was sentence four. For prediction, usually with the verb think and believe, it was sentence number one. For on the spot decision, it was sentence number two. For requests, it was Sentence 5. Well done. Now we have this activity to do together. We use these forms of the verb with the future will in the correct sentence. Do the activity and let's correct together. Pause the video. So now, let's do it together. I'm hungry. Not use, make, help, drive, not much, be. A sandwich. With will. What do you choose? Yes. I will make a sandwich. Number two. A. I'm late. B. Don't worry. I will drive you to the airport. Number three, I promise I will not use your computer when you're not home. Number four, Ali will not watch the horror film with us. He hates scary films. Number five, Sahar takes amazing photos. B. I know. I'm sure she will be a famous photographer one day. And number six. These bags are heavy. 
It's a question mark. Yes. Will you help me carry them? Well done, dear students. Great. Thank you for the participation. Do your activity and see you on the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية